Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a gigantic, humongous, gargantuan Dollar Tree haul for you. I do. So we're not even gonna chit chat, we're just gonna get into it. But first, <laughs> the first items I have are cat treats or cat toys and these two cats of mine are desperate to get in here. So we're gonna do this first. I'm gonna pause it and put this back in the garage. Some of these items, and I'll tell you, are second purchases because they got into the bag and drooled all over cat toys that aren't for them. First of all, look at this box. It was at my Dollar Tree with toys in it. This one was empty and I asked the lady if I could have it. And she said I could. And I'm gonna package up the toys that are for cats that are not mine for Christmas present and I thought that's perfect. All right, let's get into this because they're driving me crazy. First things first, I found at my store, and this is from Pet Zone. It's a tethered teaser. You pull this out and it makes real mice noises and it's full of catnip. My boys are gonna go to town. I got one for my boys and I got one for their cousin, Mabel and Murray. No, no sorry. Oh. You're getting mad at me. <laughs> I gotta hurry. Okay, so these are pet zone and they're great. Stop. Ooh, you're biting me. Quit. I found also from, <laughs> from pet zone, these, they are bananas and they are filled with 100% catnip, 100%. So I grabbed four of those. Um, okay, get out. I grabbed four of those um, because I felt like each cat really needs their own. This is going to turn into a battle at my house. So I grabbed two for my boys and I grabbed two for Murray and Mabel. Murray and Mabel are my brother's kittens. Okay, this is a little challenging here, friends. I found the fish taco and that's the box that these came in. Look at that. He is licking the box. Fish taco. I got the fish taco and I got, ah, oh, here it is. I was trying to double bag everything, but they're smarter than me. And the hot sauce. So my boys also have these because they busted into the bag. I let them have it. And then I got two little bags of the temptation treats, one for each, Murray and Mabel. So they'll get one of each. They'll get two of the bananas. They will get these two toys. And then they will also get a set of coasters. I thought um, they could put the food bowls on them. But it says, if my cat was my boss, my life would be perfect. And I got a two pack of coasters of that. So these, unfortunately, or fortunately, will have to stay in. Stop licking the box, please. Oh, he's so mad at me. Get out, get out. I need to show you. Look at that. He's licking the box. So gross. All right. These are going to have to stay in the garage until Christmas. The boys will get theirs. I can't even put them under the tree. They, will, I probably will not wait to give them theirs until Christmas, but Murray and Mabel will wait and they're gonna get wrapped up in here and I can't wait. All right, let me pause you for a second and put this in the garage and then we'll get on with the Okay, I'm back. Also, you are gonna see, oh, I'm sorry, buddy. Here's Mr. Wellington. Oh, he said, don't hold me, lady. There you go. Can you say hi? Okay, go lay down. Um, <laughs> you're seeing the Halloween stuff behind me. This video will come up after Halloween, but I just have so much stuff. Okay, stop talking, Lori. Now, Sarah and I on Thanksgiving are having a craft day. So I got us, these are finger puppets. And they did a really nice job. So I grabbed us each one of those. And then I got us each those finger puppets and you get to build them and everything's pre-cut. So all you need is glue. And then I got us, I think, yeah, this ornament kit with popsicle sticks. We're gonna do that. 
I also picked up some other kits from Target. I don't have your catnip, sweetheart. So we each got those kits to put together and then I got some Target stuff. I'll do a short and show you everything once I'm done with all that stuff. All right, I found two magazines. This one is Organizing, 108 Great Ideas for Small Spaces. And then I got Clean Naturally and it has recipes for natural cleaner. And I thought that was pretty cool. So I grabbed one of each just to read. Probably when I go to bed tonight, I will read that. Um, you see this behind me. This is a pretty large gift bag. The front says, Noel, let it snow, peace and joy, merry and bright. I love the sides and the plaid. The bottom is black and this is big. Um, when, when I wrap presents, and I know I want to keep one family together. I will put all of their wrapped individual wrapped presents in this bag. And then I'll put like on the tag, the family that I'm taking it to when I go to visit them, whenever that is. And everything is in this bag and I just grab the bag and go. And there's no digging under my tree and forgetting other folks gifts. These cats are crazy tonight. They want that catnip. I'm trying to do all the stuff outside of my, oh, I've got more stuff to reach too. Um, I found Christmas soap. This is Santa and he's cranberry scented. Mm, smells good. So I have Santa. I don't know which one I'm keeping, or which one I'm giving to Sarah, but I have Santa. I do want the snowman, but I didn't find that. Definitely for my kitchen, I have the gingerbread man. So I'm doing my kitchen and gingerbread. And I, they did a great job on these this year. And this is cinnamon gingerbread scent. Oh, that smells good. And this is definitely going in my kitchen. And then I got the Christmas tree and I already smelled that and it does smell like pine. And that's adorable too. So I will see where these land as far as if I'm keeping all of them or what. Sweetie, I don't have your catnip. These boys love some catnip. Um, and did I mention this is in no particular order? I found this. Now they've had deviled egg horrors before, but I like this one. It has a handle, the top, slides and locks so it's not like a snap-on it actually as long as you put it on properly it slides and locks into place so you should be able to i probably will still carry my deviled eggs like that and this holds one two three four five six twelve halves and then some in the middle it always weirds me out when there's an an odd number for things like this it's like what or cupcake holders that only hold nine cupcakes we make them by the dozen people how do you not know that okay i digress a deviled egg carrier perfect size for me wherever i'm gonna go and i liked it and it was a dollar and i thought that was pretty fantastic if you wanted to gift deviled eggs to somebody you could put a write on it cricket personalize it deliver it like my brother loves my deviled eggs he makes them too but he likes deviled eggs so I could like gift him that. Okay. I found a, the gingerbread man tin. Now this poor gingerbread man's a little chunky in the middle, but it's cute. Just metal tin. I'm probably gonna use it for decor. Could go on my coffee bar and hold tea bags or something, but I thought it was cute. I haven't really decorated my kitchen, so I don't know how much I need and I have zero gingerbread decor. So I grab, I just grabbed like what I see. I also grabbed this tin for no reason other than it's adorable with the little penguins. And then on the side, it just says jingle bells. I love it. I love tins, but I don't need tins. Um, I could gift something in here, I'm sure. Or I could just look at it cause I like it. What I should do, take it to my craft room and when I pack away Christmas, I could put all the little bits and bobs in here that go in the Christmas tote 
and then I don't lose all the little wooden pieces maybe, all the wooden cutouts and stuff. Might end up in there to get put away for the season, right? Ooh, I need to, um, I'm not gonna reach. Let's not, let's not get crazy. I will do it here and then I will reach. Got it? Got it. Okay, for stocking stuffer, I found these mini bamboo nail files. They're re, um, renewable resources, medium and fine grit made with natural, sustainable materials. Like that is fantastic. And these are gonna be super cute as stocking stuffers. I'm starting that process of getting little bits and bobs to put in stockings. I found the no mug. We need to talk about this no mug. It's adorable, but my goodness, is it small. I'm not really, well, it's not going to be drank out of, but you can put coffee or um, sugar packets in there or put it on your coffee bar to hold straws or coffee stirrers. That would be fantastic. You can put it in a tear tray. I think it's like three inches tall. So it's not huge, but it's adorable. You can put it out and put some flowers in the top, poinsettias. I mean, there's a hundred things you can do, but you could actually start a plant in here, like to get cut a starting, put it in here and gift it to somebody who likes plants. Like a Christmas cactus would be fantastic in the mug like that. Just saying. I do want to do a cutting on my Christmas cactus. So I found pink salmon. This salmon is distributed by Golden Beach Inc. in California. It is a product of China. It is wild caught salmon. And it has the little spoon up here. But I will use it as a meal. So I grabbed two because I'm going to mix it with Rice cauliflower for dinners one night. That's for me. I found, or I got another pack of the small, the 15. Because I'm thinking for winter after Christmas, I think it would be fun to make a snowball garland for my mantle back here. And then hang maybe some snowflake, the wooden snowflakes from it. So that would be fun. I'm going with like a white, silver, and navy blue winter theme. Um, I definitely want to put some snowballs out at Christmas time, but I grabbed an extra pack because I think it would be fun to put up a garland. We'll see if it happens, guys. Life. Um, I found this little fidget popper. So you pop it in, pop it out. I don't know. It just seemed fun and something I could put on my desk. Stocking stuffer if you have a little one that likes these things. And it's not real big. It could be great for travel. If you're making like a travel bag for any littles, this would be great to put in there for them. Something small. Put a bag together, especially if you're doing like any traveling over the holidays to visit family or whatever. And um, should I say now this is in no particular order? Okay, good. Um, I don't know what's in there. I grabbed two of these. And these are actually gift card holders. But I'm going to take the gift card portion out, which just slides out, and fill the bottom with uh, something. I don't know what. Probably like crinkle cut paper. And then um, put cash and seal it shut for my two cousins. So I thought this would be fun for them to open. And I won't lose it. Like a card, I might lose it. So these I can just, when I'm ready, decorate inside. Maybe put an ornament in there for them. Put some candy in there. And then when I'm done, I'll just tape it. I wish it was like Velcro. That would be nice. Or magnet. But for a dollar. These are cute. And that's what I got. To, to gift. For gift wrapping. Which I'm not buying gift wrap right now. Because I don't really need. I don't know what I need is what I should say. But like, I know I need a big bag and I know I need tissue and stuff like that. Um, I actually got these for my day job or my part-time job. It's four sets of earplugs. So when I work concerts um, or things that are really loud inside, we wear earplugs and these have their own little case. Now the, the Shot and Scene Center supplies me with earplugs, but I saw these and I was like, oh, these are great. Also, backpacking, traveling, these are good to have if you're a light sleeper. 
like backpack and I would never wear these because I want to hear if somebody's coming to get me. But maybe you don't. Or if you're on an airplane or something, these are great. They are just earplugs. I'm, and I've used these little spongy little ones before. Um, got some lavender. This is roll-on, I think. Just relax. Relaxation lavender. I love essential oils. I stopped diffusing them for now because I think it's triggering uh, Wellington's asthma. So I don't, diff I don't diffuse them anymore. I found these. I'm sorry, what? Um, like the coffee. I just wanted it for the coffee. And the dog, of course, drinking a coffee. And it says mocha frappe latte, tea, milk. So there's a boba, a frappe. There's like a um, Starbucks drink, a happy face. And then this one just says hot coffee. And I like these. So I grabbed them for me just because... I picked up fake security camera. Why might I pick these up? I'm making Santa cams, guys. I'm gonna make, I will do a quick video on how I do it. It does require the Cricut, but I guess you could just use regular stickers too. But I'm gonna make some Santa cams because I thought that would be fun. And I know folks are buying like expensive stuff to make them. I'm like, it's a dollar at the Dollar Tree and it will light up as long as the battery doesn't run out. And then I will find somebody with littles to give it to, but I wanted to share with you the Santa can. So that's gonna happen, hopefully, life. Um, I have two lighters. I don't feel like they need any explanation. What do you think? Two lighters, they're just candle lighters. I grabbed them when I saw them because I was running out and they are China product, and so we may not see them anytime soon. Um, this is Aroma Guru Room Spray in Spearmint and Patchouli. And I thought this would be a really nice bathroom spray. And I think if it's made with oils, you can spray it like a, poop, like a poopery. You spray it on the surface of the potty, and when you do your business, um, it should block the odor. So I'm going to let you know if this is like generic poopery. And if it is, my whole family should have one. Although I think I'm getting my brother's poopery because I just feel like they need it in life. I found in the party section, and if you do Christmas in the metallics, this is a silver table runner. It goes down the center of your table. It's a glitter table runner. Now, it's just paper. I mean, there's like, a little fabric to it so it's not gonna like rip but I was thinking too we could craft with this but if you're doing your holidays in metallics or want to throw some silver for winter time this is good stuff and it's long it is 48 inches long so I think it would make a decent table runner so I grabbed it we'll see what becomes of it um, we're stocking stuffers I found SGX NYC dry touch volumizing dry shampoo uh sarah my niece likes dry shampoo and i thought she could appreciate a travel size and i got myself one too because i like it and it does help like fluff your hair up oh geez we're playing fetch go get it so i grabbed two of the travel size because i think these are perfect stocking stuffer size as well for Christmas, I grabbed just hooks, just basic. Um, I always need them when I decorate my tree and I'm making that garland in my bathroom. And I think I wanna hang the ornaments on these silver hooks. So I grabbed just some hooks, nothing exciting. I'm kind of excited that Dollar Tree is carrying this Ofre brand. It's a name brand. I mean, I buy this ribbon at Joanne, this brand. Um, I don't need a lot of ribbon, but this blue goes with my bathroom that I'm doing. The pastels with the mint green and the pink. I think this will be a nice accent, I thought. And I liked this one as well. Just has some Christmas trees on it. Very basic, very plain. Nice to... Um... He's back. I throw it and he carries it back and drops it. 
Does your cat play fetch? Is that normal? Because I don't feel like it is. He has the ball in his mouth. Here it comes. Hi. Right. Can I have it? He said no. All right. Um, so yeah, this is great. And it may or may not match in my bathroom. We'll see. I did pick up one of the voila cards. I'm going to mail this out to somebody. These are the handmade cards, but they are a dollar a piece. But I liked this one. It says, happy holiday wishes. And on the inside, it says, may your holiday season be merry and bright. And it comes with the matching envelope. And the dogs are, some of them are like 3D. And I thought that was totes adorbs. So that's getting mailed out for the holiday season. The holiday season. <laughs> Guys, I can't wait to love Christmas. Okay. I found, and thank you to Sherry, Twisted Gypsy, for pointing out that they have these in sugar-free. I had no idea. I always just walk past all of the cough drops. Because I, I need sugar-free ones. I can't have the regular. And I had no idea they came in sugar-free. And they sure do. So I grabbed two packages of these. Um, they are the Honey Lemon. I think that's what it is. Yes, they are Honey Lemon, which is a typical sugar-free flavor. Um, I'm not sick now, but winter's coming. Colds happen, and I like to be prepared. So I'll throw these in my medicine cabinet. And if I need them... I have them and you get 25 in a bag and that's, ooh, that's pretty good for, why can't I hold them? That is pretty good for a dollar. So these are great. I'm gonna go in my medicine cabinet. I actually am out of cough drops. I typically, this time of the year, will stock up and not a lot, like that'll get me through a cold so I won't buy more than that, but I try to get like cold stuff in the house. Um, I'm sorry, who? thought this wasn't important for me to have. It's coffee cups. Now, I know this is an earbud case. And quite frankly, it's gonna hold my earbuds. I do have headphones that I put in my bag if I go to the gym or whatever, or to the office, and I will 100% store them in here and have them, and I'm excited. I never bought one of these before, but then when I saw the one with all the coffee cups on it, I'm like, well, duh, I need that in my life. So I grabbed it and I picked, I don't buy a lot of ornaments, but I really liked these and I'm wondering if I can figure out something to use them with. They're furry for lack of a better term. Do you remember, and it's a very vintage when they had these little like deer and stuff and they have almost like a, a furry feel to them. That's what this is. This is not glitter. It's fabric, which I love. And you get six of these snowflakes. I don't want to put them on my tree, but they're going to go somewhere. And they may end up on the garland in between some of these snowballs when I decide to do my winter after Christmas decorating. So that's kind of why I picked those up. And the same reason I picked up these. Just one set of these little, and they're honestly, it's white chenille yarn around a plastic ball. Um, anybody can make these, but I liked them. And again, I thought maybe I can set them on out or put them somewhere for my winter because I don't have a lot for that. I picked up a three pack and if you see them and you want them, grab them. They used to be a four pack, now they were a three pack, and now I just saw them and they were a two pack. But these are just little, and they're in the wedding section, they're little buckets. But I love doing like little ornaments like the um, snowballs, five cents, you know, or reindeer food, or put little woods in them. I did have a DIY video out. If I can find it, I will link it um, that where I made little ornaments out of these. And I was like, I really liked those. Let's do it again. Something different though. So I grabbed, and they're metal, three little metal tins. You know, I thought these were a fantastic little find. I also found these first time. They're just little cups. You get 10 of them um, for my charcuterie board for Thanksgiving to put like loose stuff in nuts, pickles, almonds, or almonds are nuts, Lori, or whatever. 
little things and I'm going to do a charcuterie board for Thanksgiving time and Christmas. So I got those to put on my board. I found one of these and it's the gold bottle brush tree. There's some berries down there, a pine cone and some fake snow. And I just love it. And I'm going to put a like something around the top, like a bow or a ribbon, maybe even like this green or something. I just thought it was pretty and this is definitely for a tiered tray. But here's the thing, like all of their glass stuff, it's nasty on the outside. So that'll get a good washing. I'll just spray it with some glass cleaner and wipe it off. Okay. I found this and we're gonna open it up. It says tote bag but it's tiny and they were all for summer. Sorry, I know I shouldn't use my teeth, but I forgot scissors. But I will tell you, this is a nice heavy camp. Oh my gosh, oh, guys, please. Oh, it's adorable. It's just a little tote bag and it's, this one says send good vibes. They were all summer themed but they're adorable. What? If you knew somebody who lives at the beach, goes to the beach, you could totally put a gift bat, make this a gift basket. Put some fun, like summery themed stuff in here. Oh my God. And it's nice canvas too. I am surprised. And this is Dollar Tree brand. Definitely heavier than the larger ones they came out with. Like this is actual canvas. This is not like the thin ones. This is a nice heavy duty. And look at the stitching in there. I am seriously impressed. So I grabbed it. it does smell a little funky though. So be it. So be it guys. I do need to put all the things away over here because I told you I have a lot of stuff, right? Okay, that stays down here. What's next? Oh, I did find the metallic bubble mailers. Now you do only get one, but I am loving this gold and of course this pink. You're gonna mail out some package with a little something something in it. I mean, it's not gonna hold a lot, but they're adorable. So, thumbnail. I did get just the two. I saw like a blue green color maybe. I don't know. But I thought these were fun and maybe for a giveaway I can use them as mailers. So I grabbed that. I found the home sign. I didn't care for some of the other ones because of the like weird gapping, but I did enjoy this. And I feel like you could back it with something. And it's not terribly short. Let me see if it gives me a measurement here. Um, no. It does not, but I would say it's gotta be at least a foot and a half long, maybe 12 inches. So I figured springtime crafting, that would be fantastic to make something, you know, for spring. I found one more of these, but in the green and white striped. So I liked that. I've been collecting these when I see them in different colors. I feel like I have some gold and black and things. I liked the green, just for gift giving. They hold small stuff. Oh, I found the Buffalo Check in the white and black um, placemats. I grabbed four, two for me and two for Sarah. Um, I will put these in my kitchen under my coffee bar and she will do with hers whatever. But I grabbed her two and I grabbed myself two. Um, I like these. I have them in the red and black that I bring out at Christmas. But I thought these would be nice too. And I use them like as coat, as placemats for sure. I know some people take them apart and make pillows and that's fantastic as well. I just don't, I don't need more pillows. Look behind me. I have four back there. Okay. What else we got? Oh. I picked up three of these. I have a DIY idea. I just, I don't think this will take stain. So I'm gonna need to get brown paint, I think. And I'm gonna have to 
I'm gonna paint them and decorate them on the back and then I'm going to seal them as a, for a Christmas gift. For a couple of my girls that like journaling, I love having a clipboard. I can just put my piece of paper and I can decorate my page. Um, what is frustrating is when I took that off, it's textured, like it ripped up some of the, so I'm wondering, I don't think MDF board stains well. I'll just use chalk paint. We'll use chalk paint, but I'm gonna decorate it. So I can do a DIY if anybody is interested in something of that nature for a gift idea. All right, I grabbed this, not because I want this, but because I want the mint and I want the pink in there. So we're gonna take this apart. We're gonna scratch off these words. We're gonna put a different background. We are gonna glue it back together and we're gonna hang it in my bathroom because it all matches minus the panda and fruit in the background and the choose kindness. But like the, the sequins and everything, I'm not even touching this. I'm, I'm just taking it apart from the back and rebuilding it. And I think this is gonna be exciting to hang in my bathroom. And again, nasty glass, fingerprints, ugh. All right, I think that's everything I can reach. So give me a second. Okay, I'm back. I found the big pack, the two pack of these bags. And this is a linen or muslin. Oh, I think it's more of a linen if I had to guess. It's kind of a heavy linen or even almost like a, a soft burlap. Merry and Bright. Um, excuse me. They also have the little ones in the same three pack. What? I love these. I love this size. If you're doing office gifts, can you imagine filling this up with some treats and tying it off and just putting somebody's name on it and dropping it on their desk? I mean, these are fantastic for that. These little ones, same thing, depending what you're giving, but I like the bigger ones. Um, but I grabbed these, Marion Bright three pack. Then we got them in this print. Same mandala type print, two and three. Uh, but wait, they came in the tree. I love the tree and the three pack. So really depending on what you're doing or gifting, like these are nice bags. These are nice quality bags. I haven't opened the little ones. I'm assuming they're the same, just smaller. So yeah, I grabbed those because uh, gifting. I will tell you a little secret. My main gr Christmas shopping is done. I know. Okay. I found the big jars. So I have the little ones, two and two of the big ones, and I think these are pretty darn fantastic. Again, with the nasty, they need to be washed. I'll put them in the dishwasher. Last time I just washed the tin, the lid by hand and put, laid it out to dry, and then I put the glass in the dishwasher, and that worked out perfect. But I did get two of the large. Um, somebody had mentioned maybe like a decanter set. I just don't use that. I have containers in my fridge that holds my, my keto stuff, but those don't do well in the refrigerator. I put one in before and the lid on there um, rusted. So I will find something, probably if I had to guess, craft storage, because I'm always looking for that in my life. All right, this girl wrapped this stuff up good, but I found, and I'm so excited, the dishes with the snowflakes on them. Guys, this is everything. They have a weird texture to them though. I hope, I wonder if these are dishwasher safe. It does not say not to but it has a weird texture. Anywho, the snowflake. So I got two of those. My plan is I'm gonna set my table. And then I grabbed the big bowls. 
don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but it's so pretty. And there's that print on both sides. Like this is a great soup bowl or salad bowl. Obviously, this is all getting washed because gross. Um, but, you know, it's just me. I don't need. And I have fancy dishes, but I like these for holiday. So I grabbed two of the glasses. <laughs> Be careful with these. This, on one of them, the bottom came off, and I ended up with stitches a couple, last year, two years ago. And then I found the dinner plates. What I haven't located yet are the salad plates. I mean, I won't, it's not terrible if I don't find the salad plates, but I would like the salad plates. But look at that, guys. That is so pretty. There's shiny and just the delicateness of the snowflake. I've never bought Dollar Tree dishes because I don't feel like I need dishes. I mean, I have dishes, but I really wanted to set my Christmas table up and leave it up for a while. And I wanted these. So that's why I just got a service of two. The one thing I do, like I said, need to locate are the um, salad or bread plates, whatever, if they come in that size. I don't even know if they come in that size. Like, I feel like they should, but if they don't, I can also just get a white or clear for that, right? All right, that's everything there. Okay, I just have a few more things left. I know this is taking forever, guys, and I'm sorry. Uh, for Sarah, I got her the Cheerios box, and this is the limited edition. I don't know what that means. Frosted Berry, I think this is from the Summer Olympics, Team Cheerios, and... These are good until April of 2022, so she's fine. I told her I got them for her, but I wanted to show you first, so I think she'll enjoy those. Cause I know, like, I would just snack on them. I feel like they're supposed to be like a Fruit Loop. Um, and then other food-wise, I got are these Betty Crocker no bake cookies, cookie dough, no bake cookie dough bites, chocolate brownie with chocolate drizzle and peanut butter with chocolate drizzle. I thought these would be fun to make up. All you need is cream cheese and butter. And yeah, cream cheese and butter for both. You mix it up, you scoop it, and you refrigerate it, I'm gonna assume. Um, empty topping into a small micro, oh. Place cream cheese and butter in medium microwave safe full cover, microwave 20 seconds, or until cream cheese and butter are soft. I would just leave them at room temperature. If necessary, microwave 10 seconds more. No bake cookie dough. So empty the bag into the cream cheese and butter and mix your stir and shape. How fun is that? Especially if you have little ones. This could be fun little activity for the kids that they can do really on their own. If you mix the dough and just give them a scoop or a spoon. Um, but I think these are fun. I don't know how they taste. I won't be tasting them, but I will be making them and sharing them. My niece and her friend I know are going um, on a trip after Thanksgiving. So maybe I'll make one or both for them. I was looking to see if it was gluten-free, but it's not. Um, not that that makes a difference to me. So I may give them to the, give it to the girls to take on their trip whatever share with my neighbors so I grabbed one of each um, and I did not find them both at the same store and I, I I will say again I don't shop the same store I went tonight to three stores I do I have a loop of three to five stores that I go to rotate okay the last thing I found are these holiday lanterns and I don't know if they come in any other color this is all I found and again, that's a situation where I found these two at one store and literally one at one store. I walked in and there was one. And then I went to another store tonight and there were one of each. So I'm thinking they're going to go fast because I've not, I mean, I'm at the Dollar Tree a lot, guys, and I've only seen them at one store. And I know that, let me see, that one still has its light, its thing. This one does too. Somebody pulled the thing on this one. So I will show you. So that's what it's gonna look like lit up. Personally, I'm putting these out on my front porch this Christmas. My front porch is covered. So I think these will be fun, maybe. Maybe they'll end up somewhere else, I don't know. 
but I needed them for one dollar. And kind of what I was thinking for winter for this one is if I take this out the bottom, like get in here somehow and unscrew that or twist it or something. I think it comes out or not. And tape off the white and spray this like a blue color or paint it a blue color with some blue chalk paint and just not do the white snowflakes. And then I could set this on my mantle come winter time and light it up. And I think that would be pretty fantastic. So probably what I need to do is find, cause this is really shiny. I'm gonna need chalk paint. So I need to find like a blue chalk paint and I may have that. And then just be very gentle and paint it. These two are perfect, just how they are. I won't mess with these. And this has the deer, this has the Christmas tree, and this just has the snowflakes. And how fun is that, guys? Like, I just think that is so fun. And I can't wait to decorate. What's gonna happen first, though, is on Sunday, which is Halloween, in the evening, I will take all the Halloween decor decorations down and I will bring out, back out and out the fall Thanksgiving, more Thanksgiving decorations. And I really only decorated this room so it won't take me long at all. And then I will bring out the um, Halloween. No, I will put Halloween away and I will bring out Thanksgiving. And then I will show you like a little tour of my Thanksgiving decorations on this floor. Like I need to find a home for this plant. I went a little plant crazy at Costco and I got this plant, another snake tongue plant. I have a big snake tongue plant that I have on the floor over here. Yeah, I've got a little plant nuts guys, but I love them. All right. That is everything I got at the Dollar Tree. Um, I hope you enjoy this super long haul. Please like, subscribe, and I will talk to you later.